Hello and welcome, I'm your code monkey, and I've just published the Fit 3 update to my Ultimate Unity of Reports. This one adds 6 more lectures covering more tools and features for a total of over 70 lectures by now. This is a commonly free update, so if you already own the course, you already have access to the new lectures. And if you don't own the course yet, you can get it from the link in the description. This course is all about teaching you the various tools and features that Unity has, some of which you might not know about, but they could greatly help you in your game development journey. In total, there's now over 70 lectures, each covering a different tool or feature of the engine. So this is a great way to quickly get up to speed and become familiar with all of the tools and features that Unity has that can help you be much better at building your own games. This update adds a lecture on the localization package. This is a really awesome Unity tool to help you localize your games, which is something that Steam themselves highly recommends that you do. It's one of the things that massively increases your chance of finding success with the algorithm. Thankfully, the tool is super easy to use, so you should definitely include it in your games. Then there's a lecture on the decal projector. This is something that a lot of people don't really know that exists. It's how you can project a sprite onto any geometry in the world. This is not just a flat quad, it is actually projected onto the world, so it's perfect for things like blood splatter, things like bullet holes, graffiti, or even some coins on the floor, or even just some dirt to populate your levels. Then there's a lecture on cloud diagnostics. This is pretty much a must-have tool. You absolutely must enable this in your games. It enables you to see on the dashboard what kind of bugs your players are encountering without having to rely on manual reports. So this is super useful for helping you make your game as bug-free as possible. And related to that, the next lecture is on the user reporting tool. This one is meant for manual player reports. You can include a screenshot and all kinds of data, like a save file, to really help you track down issues and fix them. Then there's a lecture on the Text Mesh Pro fallback feature. This is another thing many people don't know about. It's how you can set up Text Mesh Pro to use a different font if the current one does not have a glyph for a certain character. And finally, a lecture on the Frame Debugger. This is a really useful tool for helping you analyze exactly how your game is being rendered and what you might be able to do to improve it. Those are the six new lectures and in this free update. In total, there's now over 70 lectures, each covering a different tool or feature of the engine. This update is the fifth of many free updates. My goal with this course is to update it over time as I explain more and more tools and features, so let me know in the Q&A section which ones you're most interested in so I know which ones to prioritize. And also, I'm always available in that Q&A section. I answer all the questions every day, so if you need help with any of these tools and features, post them there and I'll do my best to help. Alright, so go ahead, join me on the course, and let's learn more about Unity together.